with a very very important topic on time speed and distance right let us start with a very very important topic on time speed and distance listen to this carefully sir in time speed and distance if you open your textbook probably will find so many formulas being implemented in the textbook let us not use any of those formulas except one basic definition of speed that is nothing but speed is equal to distance by time except this basic definition called as speed is equal to distance by time probably we will not be requiring any other formulas which will be given in your textbooks to solve time speed and distance problems in the best possible shortcuts no formula no variable methods is something which i am very very interested in teaching in my class do not miss out until i complete the entire topic for the next one and a half to two hours you will learn a lot of beautiful things in the best beautiful ways listen to this carefully sir we will start with our first problem all the basic understanding with respect to time speed and distance we will start with the basic level questions and then we will slowly slowly scale up the level of difficulty do not write anything when i am explaining first listen to the class very very carefully i am starting with my first problem of today's class listen carefully sir very very easy question i will start with what is the question a cyclist covers 480 kilometers in 8 hours a cyclist covers 480 kilometers in 8 hours if the speed is decreased by 12 kilometers per hour how much time he takes to travel the same distance this word called as the same distance is very very important in this question what is that they are saying they are saying that how much time he takes to travel the same distance distance is the same let us read from starting a cyclist cover 480 kilometers in 8 hours speed is defined as distance by time distance is given as 480 kilometers time is given as 8 hours 480 by 8 is 60 kilometers per hour initially i am traveling with a speed of 60 kilometers per hour that is my first statement second statement says if the speed is decreased by 12 kilometers per hour initially i am traveling at 60 kilometers per hour i am decreasing my speed by 12 kilometers per hour that means my final speed will become how much 60 minus 12 it will become 48 kilometers per hour right it will become 48 kilometers per hour what is the meaning of 48 kilometers per hour 48 kilometers per hour means in one hour i will cover 48 kilometers in one hour i will cover 48 kilometers but what is the question how much time he takes to travel the same distance same distance is nothing but the distance of 480 kilometers in one hour it is 48 kilometers but i should not cover only 48 kilometers i should cover the same distance of 480 kilometers 48 is becoming 480 48 is becoming 480 multiply by 10 48 into 10 is 480 1 also multiply by 10 1 into 10 is how much 10 hours very very easy questions to start with to cover the same distance of 480 kilometers i will take 10 hours to travel that particular distance that is the meaning of this question we will slowly scale up the level of difficulty sir do not worry about the level level will be slowly taken care of as we proceed with more and more and more number of problems i hope the first question for this particular beautiful topic is very very clear i hope it is very very clear first question 10 hours is the answer for first question 10 hours is the answer for the first question first few minutes we will understand the basic of time speed and distance slowly slowly we will scale up the level of difficulty to make sure that we will solve some intermediate level questions also advanced level also we will take in our upcoming classes but before that you need to take care of all these basics to advance the questions second question listen carefully sir i am drafting the second question of today's class this is the question second question says a motor starts with a speed of 70 kilometers per hour that means speed is given as 70 kilometers per hour right speed is given as 70 kilometers per hour that is the first statement continue the question with its speed increasing every two hours by 10 kilometers per hour 
every two hours the speed will increase by 10 kilometers per hour right every two hours the speed increases by 10 kilometers per hour that means first two hours first two hours in one hour it will cover 70 kilometers in two hours it will cover 70 into two it will cover 140 kilometers first two hours it will cover 140 after two hours it will increase by 10 kilometer per hour that means now it becomes 80 kilometers per hour speed right now it becomes 80 kilometers per hour speed for the next two hours it is traveling at 80 kilometers per hour speed in one hour it is 80 in two hours it is 160 right in two hours it is 160 let us read the question first sir in how many hours will it cover 345 kilometers totally it needs to cover 345 kilometers how many hours it will take to cover this 345 kilometers in the question can i say that in the first four hours in the first four hours 140 plus 160 300 kilometers is already covered in the first four hours 300 kilometers is covered out of 345 300 is already covered remaining is how much remaining is another 45 kilometers now next to next two hours every two hours once the time will the speed will increase by 10 kilometers per hour earlier it was 80 now for the next two hours it will travel at 90 kilometers per hour the meaning of 90 kilometers per hour means in one hour it is 90 in one hour it will cover 90 kilometers but i don't need 90 kilometers to be covered i only have remaining 45 kilometers to be covered in one hour it will cover 90 to cover 45 kilometers how many hours 90 divided by 2 is 45 one hour divided by 2 is 0 0.5 hours that means to cover a total of 345 kilometers initially i took four hours then i took another half hour total value for this particular question is 4.5 hours in four and a half hours i would complete 345 kilometers for if i double or if i increase the speed by 10 kilometers per hour after every two hours that is the meaning of this question very very easy question to start with sir initially let us only concentrate on easy questions we will slowly slowly scale up the level of difficulty as we proceed with our classes i am again repeating it do not worry about extension of a particular logic we will keep building the monuments with the bricks and slowly we will have a beautiful class in the next one and a half hours or two hours of our class.